Hey everybody, General Motors Jeff here from Pro Chevrolet in Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario. And today I have yet another video for you. It is on this bad boy right here. That is the all new from the ground up 2021 Chevrolet Tahoe, but it's not just a regular Tahoe. This is the Tahoe Z71. Now in the past, especially if you're a Silverado fan, you know that Z71 is an off-road package that's available on different trim levels. This Z71 is a trim level in and of itself and also on this particular one we have the performance upgrade package and that is what we're going to look at today Okay, but before we go any further, I am sure that you're curious about this right here. The window sticker in Canadian dollars, mind you, is 85,463. That is the way that this particular one is trimmed out. It has a base price of 68,698. What we've added is a Z71 off-road package, which gives you things like the magnetic ride control, air, you know, air adaptive ride suspension, things like that. Also, we have the rear media and nav package, that's 2865. The performance upgrade package, performance air intake uh, system, uh, you know, again, that's the cat back exhaust. Um, we have the sunroof, um, uh, of course, the panoramic sunroof, uh, bed, uh, sorry, bucket second row, and of course, uh, um, the sliding power console, all right? So that is what gets us to that price. So here it is, the all new from the ground up, 2021 Chevy Tahoe in the Z71 from American Friends Z71 trim level. And yes, I said trim level because unlike our Silverados uh, or unlike the past Tahoes where Z71 the, was just an off-road package you could put on different trim levels, you know, an, L, uh, an LT, an RST. Right now, the Z71 is a trim level in and of itself. It has its own distinct look and it's, you know, available with its own features. Speaking of features, of all of the Tahoes, believe it or not, this one has the least amount of choices available for it in terms of standard features. Let's, let's talk about some of those standard features. But first, aside from let's talking about how amazing this looks, let's talk about why it looks different. And right off the bat, if you've looked at any other Tahoes, you can tell this has got a much more cut up angle. That is to give you that higher approach angle. Not to mention you're gonna get the nice skid plates down there below. The red tow hooks, that is signifying the Z71. Of course, you can get the black bow tie and then again, the black chrome across there. Everything else is gonna be paint matched. You're not gonna see a lot of chrome on this vehicle. So pretty much, uh, you know, mirror caps, door handles, you're getting the black above there on the roof rails, no chrome there. And then back here again, black bow tie with the black chrome back here. So again, it makes it look a little more sporty, a little more off-road because again, this is considered an off-road tile as far as off-road obviously is concerned. Now, as I mentioned, there's a few things that you don't really have options with. So first and foremost, again, being this is considered an off-road vehicle, it's only available in four-wheel drive. You cannot get the Z71 Tahoe in two-wheel drive, and I think that kind of makes sense, right? How about next? Wheels. What wheel choices do we have? None. <laughs> All we have is these right here, which I think look good anyway. I think it really uh, match the type of vehicle this is. 20 inch aluminum wheels there. You're gonna see it's kind of like got a, a dark with a light contrast. I think they look sharp, but I'm just letting you know right now, there is no other wheel options and you're gonna get a you know an all-terrain tire there, okay? As far as underneath the hood, that's another area where you only have one choice and we're gonna get to that in a minute. We're also gonna get to the fact that I did mention off the top that this one has the performance upgrade kit and we're gonna talk about that as well. Now, like all the other Tahoes in 2021, it's a bit bigger. We have a five inch longer wheelbase, which is gonna give you a great ride. Something else attributes to that great ride, I'm gonna talk about that in a second as well. And then the overall vehicle is six inches longer. So it's a little bit bigger vehicle than it was in the past. What I like about that, 
giving you a little more storage area, a little more leg room as well. Not to mention that longer wheelbase is giving you, like I said, that, that great ride, right? So all of that plays in the factor. And part of that great ride is also due to, right back here, independent rear suspension, all right? So that is a major difference in this new Tahoe. And by the way, it's off the T1 platform. So this is the same platform you're gonna see in the Silverados and the Sierras, but there's obviously some major tweaks to it. Now, as I mentioned, another thing that contributes to the great ride is something that's available on this, and you saw at the start of the video, where I was showing you the sticker, and that is you have the adaptive ride control suspension on this. I know it's an off-road vehicle, that adaptive ride control is phenomenal. It gives you an amazing ride, whether you're off the beaten trail or on the paved road. Also, one other thing we ordered with this is an option, is the air ride suspension. All four corners have its own independent air ride suspension, which allows the vehicle to raise up or down to the tune of four inches. So pretty capable, right? But next, what I wanna do is talk about your options underneath that hood. All right, so we are going underneath this hood right now to tell you what options are available when it comes to the engines. And there isn't any options, actually. There's only one motor choice available for the Z71, and that is the 5.3 liter dynamic fuel engine. So it runs on any number of cylinders, eight cylinder, okay. Um, it is about 355 horsepower, just over 380 foot pound of torque. Why that is the way it is, I do not know why the 6.2 is necessarily not available, but I do know why, because again, there's one other choice as far as engines are concerned. By the way, if you didn't know this, the Tahoe, you can, in most Tahoe's, you can get the three liter Duramax turbo diesel, the 6.2 liter, or like we have in here, the 5.3. Now, the reason why the, the diesel is not available is again, what we talked about earlier, that higher approach angle doesn't allow for the intercooler for the turbo. So. Uh, there's not enough room basically is basically what they're saying in order to have the three liter turbo diesel all right so again 5.3 liter again it's a very capable motor but speaking of capability and the motor and some improvements let's talk next about that performance upgrade package so what is the performance upgrade package well it is a cat back exhaust that goes from the front to the back better airflow and it does sound amazing i'll give you a little start up here in a second not only that but you're also going to get better airflow by way of that right there. It's almost like a K&N filter, right? So better airflow. Actually, the airflow is about 13% better than you have in the standard one. And as far as the cat back exhaust, you're gonna get, uh, now, the, now just to be fair, on the 5.3, you can get a dual or a single. We have the single exhaust, um, and that is gonna uh, get you, I think, uh, if I recall, about seven more horsepower and about four foot pound more torque. I know it doesn't sound like much, but honestly, it does make a difference. But you know what? Let's hear the sounds like with the cat back exhaust. Yes. I wish I was in there so I could rev it up for you because it does sound pretty awesome. So I think what we should do next is head inside and show you again, as mentioned, that there is more storage available, more storage space and more seating capacity, not seating capacity, but seating room, pardon me, than there used to be in the past. So the way we have this one configured right now is we have it with a two, two, three setup, right? So you see, you get the uh, captain's row in the second, uh, captain's chairs, pardon me, in the second row. You can get that as a bench. You can actually have, obviously your, your two in the front, three there, and then three here, all right? I don't know, if you haven't towel it before, you might notice there's a little bit more room right off the bat here. And of course, we do have the power down seat options in this one as well, which I love. Makes it a lot easier, right? So again, more room back here, but let's head around and go to the back seat and show you some cool things. I don't know if you could see there, but check out those screens, right? We're gonna go there next. By the way, if you didn't already know so, keyless entry on all four doors, as well as the back. By the way, that tailgate also can uh, be, uh, you can use your foot to kick it open uh, <laughs> underneath, by the way, or of course your key fob. But again, any of the four doors you can walk up to, as long as the key's in your pocket, and open up that door. We have some mobility with these seats, by the way, so you can move them front and back with these captain's chairs. What I really love, though, is these right here. Probably not going to come on because I don't have the vehicle right now, but there are 12 inch color touchscreen. Nav is in there. You have the ability to um, sync it up with your, your phone, your tablet. You can uh, watch wirelessly. Both are independent from one another. So if you have, you know, the, not if you have, it comes with the wireless earphones. So either passenger can watch their own thing. You can even combine something, which would be, let's put an Xbox or a PlayStation down here. We can hook it up by the HDMI cable and you can actually have be on a trip and have these two people back here playing video games against one another. Again, the navigation is actually on these screens, which can also be independent and can be sent to the front. The cool part is if you're sitting in the front also, by the way, 
you can see what people are watching back here. So if you have two little ones, you want to make sure that they're not watching, they're not something they're not supposed to, you can kind of keep an eye on that as well. Heading down here, by the way, too, we have heated rear seats. We have their own controls down here for the uh, for the ventilation, of course, as well, right? So uh, your heat and uh, cooling controls, okay? So that is the back seat. And next, we are going to head... Actually, before we do that, how about that? Finally got the big sunroof in one of these, right? Used to just have that little smaller one up there like we have in the Silverados and Sierras. I love the fact that we have that big panoramic sunroof here now. And by the way, if you didn't know, so this shade can be pulled over and stopped at any point. So if you just don't want the back, if the people in the back don't want the sun on them, but you want it up there, you can stop that shade at any particular point. But let's head to the front and look at some more cool part, uh, features of this vehicle. So Bose stereo system is going to be in this one here. You also have the memory seat settings, but I, I hate calling it memory seat settings. It's actually memory settings. And the reason why I call it that, or I, that is that way, is because not only does it control, of course, the power seat option, but it also controls the exterior mirror. And in this particular one, we have the power steering wheel. So power telescope and tilt steering wheel. So when you get in this vehicle, you press your number, it's gonna move that mirror, that steering wheel, and that seat. So the only thing you have to move on your own would be that right there, which is the rear view mirror, right? Okay, this one has the max trailer package in it also. So you have the trailer brake controller right there. Of course, it has a two-speed transfer case. By the way, there is no option for that. And I forgot to mention that earlier in the video, the two-speed transfer case is a standard feature um, in this, which gives you the high, uh, the high low range for four-wheel drive. And of course, you still have the auto and two-wheel drive. You have the parking, uh, uh, electric parking brake right there. Tons of different safety features. Hill descent control. Again, that's part of the Z71 package also. Now. Inside here, though, some more creature comfort. So you, got, you have the uh, the uh, heated steering wheel. And again, some more safety features. There's a Ford collision alert there. You have lane keep assist, front pedestrian braking, all this kind of stuff. Tons of safety features, which I can go over in another video. Now, what has changed for the 2021? Well, first and foremost, this right here. We got just over 10-inch color touchscreen now, which I really love. I like how it comes up. Looks almost like a tablet, right? Of course, this one's going to have navigation in it. You're also going to have wireless charging down here so you can just set your phone there and what goes along with that wireless charging is wireless apple carplay and android auto so you just have to hook your phone up via bluetooth set it down there you don't even have to have it set down there but you could be sitting there charging and it could be running things off of your phone right up there on the, on the color touchscreen so it'll uh it'll move your nav up there uh your spotify you know whatever it is your text messages and that kind of stuff now another major major difference is this right here and i know maybe some of you don't like it but i can tell you firsthand i'm a truck guy i come from the silverados and sierras that's what i drive 99.99 percent of the time and i of course like that column shift but i can tell you firsthand after driving this and using this a little bit i don't mind this at all this electric shift is actually pretty slick and it does a couple things you might not even know that does first and foremost it frees up some more room down here so if we had that that if we if they decided to put the shifter down here as opposed to the column shift the other thing is it makes this cab pretty darn quiet and why i say that is because what happens is when you have a normal shifter so say here right you have all the cables and all the things running through to the motor for uh, in the transmission right what happens with the electric shift is they're able to close off the motor so in behind here they can close it off more which gives you less noise coming from the engine bay right which gives again again a quieter ride okay down here of course you're gonna have the heated seats no cooled seats in this particular one heated seats uh separate climate control for a driver and passenger and I gotta show you something that's one of my cool, my favorite new and coolest features of this new Tahoe. And it starts right up here with this button. So first of all, we have our sunroof buttons and things like that. Do you know what this button does? Well, it does something with that right there. I'm not kidding you. That button up there moves this front and back. So you can actually bring this back to your, your passengers back here. They can get closer to the cup holders, closer to uh, you know the, the controls, as, as I mentioned, for the ventilation system, that kind of stuff. So check this out. So I'm going to press this up here, but I'm going to show you down here as I do it. Yes! Are you kidding me? How cool is that, right? So now you have a bit of more of an area here. This still lifts up. You got lots of storage in there. And again, you have the uh the stuff, the, the cup holders and stuff for the for the for the rear passengers. By the way, I didn't already mention this. I didn't mention this part of me, but I'm sure you already saw the nice black leather. There is one other leather color option you can get in this, which is called a dark Gideon. Um with uh, or, or Gideon, pardon me, with a dark atmosphere, which basically gives you kind of a light and dark contrast as far as um as far as the interior is concerned. 
Well, there you have it. That is the 2021 Chevrolet Tahoe Z71. Awesome new trim level, awesome new Tahoe to begin with, and that trim level, of course. If you have any questions, I would love to hear from you. What do you like about this? I would love to hear that as well. Would you would you get this model over a High Country or a, over an RST or an LS or an LT? I'm curious what you think. As always, though, thanks so much for watching.